Dr. Victor Frankenstein was a scientist with big plans. He wanted to create a human-like creature, but didn't know how. He spent every night in his laboratory reading books to see if he could learn the art of creating a creature from scratch. When he couldn't find the answer in his books, Dr. Frankenstein decided to try making a creature on his own. Dr. Frankenstein worked day and night, stitching together body parts to make a giant green man. Will this work? Dr. Frankenstein wondered. It has to work. Dr. Frankenstein switched on his machine. There was a loud noise and a blinding light. First, there was a groan. Then, Dr. Frankenstein saw the head move. I did it! My experiment worked! He cried. When the green man rose to his feet and opened his eyes, he started to reach for Dr. Frankenstein to thank him for giving him life. But Dr. Frankenstein was scared. What have I done? He stammered. You're a m- m- monster! He ran, screaming from the laboratory, scared of his own creation. Dr. Frankenstein hid in a closet until he heard the monster break through the door and go out into the night. In the village, everyone ran away with fright from the monster, just like Dr. Frankenstein did. The monster was big and green, and they thought he was scary. But they didn't know that the monster was scared of them, too. He wandered until he found a clearing where no one would see him, and he could be alone. The monster found a place to rest. He was tired and hungry and found apples to eat, which made him groan with happiness. The monster liked his clearing and stayed there for a long time. He hid in the trees, listening to the people in the village. By listening to them, he slowly learned how to speak. My friend. My friend. He also found books and learned how to read. What is an apple? He thought to himself. What makes a bird sing? He wondered. Where do I come from? He pondered. That was his biggest question. No book could answer his biggest question, so the monster decided to go to the laboratory to ask Dr. Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein heard a noise outside his laboratory and went to see what it was. Who's there? He asked nervously. The monster approached. Dr. Frankenstein screamed, You monster! You've come back! Then, in the voice of a gentleman, the monster replied, Why do you call me a monster? How can you speak? Dr. Frankenstein asked. You gave me a brain so that I can think and learn. I listen to people to learn how to speak. I read books to learn how to read. For that, I thank you. The monster replied, But you also gave me this giant green body, and people only see me as a monster and run away from me in fear. I wanted to give you a life, replied Dr. Frankenstein sadly. Why? asked the monster with a tear in his eye. Because I wanted a friend, said Dr. Frankenstein. But no one, not even you, will be my friend, responded the monster as he left. Back in his laboratory, (laughs) Dr. Frankenstein cried as he thought about his creation and how everyone was afraid of him. Then he realized, I am the one who is a monster. I made my creation and didn't teach him anything. I didn't even try to be his friend. Dr. Frankenstein went back out into the night. I'm sorry, he said when he found his monster. I want to make your life better. Come and live with me. Really? 
asked the monster. And he did. The two were very happy living together, especially since they shared a love of reading books.